Hi everybody, it's Hildy at Kalunga 2126 and I'm coming with, to you with a quick video response for Amy's challenge and it's a thank you challenge and she's going to be giving away this gorgeous um, mini album that Cassie Keith made. Also Cassie Keith is showing you how to make mini albums on her page as well on her YouTube page. But Amy decided to do a challenge to make a thank you card or a thank you tag because two other ladies you know have also given supplies goodies to give to Amy's viewers you know us the subbies so the cards have to be addressed to Cassie Keith Lynn B and Love My Two Pugs One and it's either got to be a card or a tag. It could be small. It doesn't have to be big because she understands how, you know, how much how shipping is. And it has to be done by April 5th. But to get more in depth with, you know, what you need to do or have, um, head on over to A. Ottomers 224 for more details and respond to her video. So this is what I decided to make. I decided to make tags. These are my very first tag, ladies. So I went simple because I've never made a tag before. These are the flowers, um, butterflies that I had bought previously at a dollar store that I found, which was a gold mine. And the tag itself is cut out from the Cricut banner cartridge. And so is this design as well. Um, I have bling on all four corners and down here the thank you has been with glossy accent and the thank you is actually from uh, Inka Dinka Do my very first thank you stamp and what I did I just used the thank you and cut everything else out so I just I went simple again because I never made a tag before and the ends I have this little skinny ribbon that I got at a um at the flea market no the second hand store a thrift store, there you go. <laughs> and beautiful ribbon. And this mesh, what I did, if you can see the sparkles, I got this um, nail polish that has glitter on it, so I put it on the mesh. So this is my first tag I've ever made. And um, the back, I don't want to show you too much, so I kind of wrote the name down for the person who was going for this design right here, the blue one, is actually what you punched out of here. So I used, you know, everything. And, um, of course, that's my little logo for now so I can get my own little stamp. I always write homemade with love and I sign my name. So, um, this is one stamp. I've kept them all the same but just changed up in colors. This is another. I also again I did the bling in the four corners and the back I did the same I put the person's name there I did one in green the green bling in the end the thank you as well all of them have the same ribbon with the same glittery mesh Movica. oh yeah there it is same glittery mesh and I had I guess I had to add pink I'm not a pink person but I know a lot of people are so I put in this pink and purple again with the bling on the corners and the thank you same thing with the mesh and the ribbon and the same thing in the back with the paper so these are my tags to say thank you. I made an extra one actually. Um, well, no, I didn't. Actually, I made one for Amy. So, these are my tags. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment. And also head on over to A. Ottomers 224, which is Amy, and join in the challenge. You have until April 5th to hand, you know, to send your card. It doesn't have to be big. You can even do little mini cards. It don't have to be, you know, nothing huge. It's up to you if you want to do that. Um, thank you for watching. If you leave a comment, thank you. And 
Um, much love, Hildy.